Right then, so here is our first fight um, with me as defense, Exorius as the uh, lead attacker. Best of three. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be interesting. Yeah, best of three fights. So let's see what happens. I must admit, like the team I picked was basically my team in the actual game. <laughs> Pretty much, like it's not far off what my actual arena team is. Yeah, but I feel uh, but I feel like that uh, so obviously this is a bit superior. Yeah, it's a good pick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I picked uh, Robin Bad because basically I have uh, no chance with that damage. Your yeah. team is uh, far heavily defended. Yeah, so when I was picking the Patriot Key, I was thinking if I can chunk some shields on, hopefully I can outlast people. Yeah, my team can do the initial damage. Yeah. Yeah, you got a really bursty start. Actually, Freezar takes a load of damage there. Uh, he, he will surely be the first to drop in this match. Yeah, he's just propped his cheat death, so... Next hit, he's down, there he is! Oh, man. Um, nearly got your Batty down. So I wanted to pick uh, Batty myself. One down each. So close to dropping the Robin Bad there. I think Solius going down is the end. <laughs> it's the end of the team. Yeah. 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 Basically, no, no chance. Yeah, got no damage left, really. Robin will surely die, but um, no one else. Even then, though, another cheat death, isn't it? So, just it's just soaking up extra hits. Yeah, looks like it's 1-0. Yeah. Probably should change really the next time. Yeah, yeah. 1-0, man. Well done. Okay, here we go. Round two. I'm one nil down. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, I'm wondering if I should swap my leader over. I'm gonna try it. And push more damage out instead. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But originally, I thought that my Patriot key would just enable me to get loads of shielding, so I'd just be able to stay alive longer, but it didn't really work that way. I get so many buffs in my team. guys room for the, the final battle in this best of three one one um any final words exorious <laughs> may the best team win may the best team win good luck buddy good luck right and this is to progress into the last four is it yeah yeah let's go let's go Just stand out of hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> the last time. Oh, wow, foul. Yeah. Yeah. This was a difference. Foul got big miss in last time. Definitely the target. Oh, big shield for foul, though. It might be the, the win, actually. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah, well, that was a good match. Good it was, yeah, good fight, good fight. Well, I'm, uh, I'm through to the last four somehow. <laughs> but yeah. I thought after that first fight there was no chance, but um, yeah, nice. Well, uh, yeah. thanks very much, buddy. Uh, thank you.
Hey guys, Carnifex here with another post-game review of the match between Exorius and Hell Hades. So uh, initially in the first round, Hell Hades goes with the Patriarch Chi leads, thinking the sustain is going to be able to carry him. There isn't a lot of sustain on Exorius's team, um, and Exorius has really gone with the uh, a bunch of characters that can pretty much plug and play on any team. That was kind of the idea. They're not going for some really deep synergy, but just grabbing some of the most overall useful characters. But it was kind of an entire team of said characters. So how was that going to turn out? Well, in the first match, uh, where we, the Chi lead did not uh, did not really have the impact he was wanting there. Uh, Wonder Lula and Robin Bad both able to turn out some good damage at our feeding turn meter to the whole team going through the hard work. But as we can see in the second match, Hell Hades opts for the Soleus lead, and that is so significant because of all the extra power that goes out. Now, fortunately, and this had nothing to do with what's going on with uh, the strategy, um, Patriarch Chi ends up taking a lot of the attention instead of Freezer. Freezer goes down really early for Hell Hades in the first round, and that pretty much spells the doom. There isn't a ton of DPS on the team once you get rid of Freezer. A um, little bit from Nidia, a little bit from Foul, but pretty selective in how often that damage turns out. Uh, Hell Hades wins the tiebreaker, and uh, Mistress Foul there, able to barely live on, spread the, the dodge, dodges and moves herself, get healed up. Uh, the team is still hanging around in there, but a real big wallop from Nidiel. Um, again, like having characters like Puncherface, Puncherface is a character that could have been used on pretty much any team. He's going to give you ability to circumvent taunt. Whenever you have AI doing the commanding, that's not a bad thing. Um, Wonder Lula giving the invisibility, even if a ta tank were to lose taunt. Um, again, just kind of two completely different strategies. Where Hell Hades going with that strong, strong, like intentional synergy. And Xoria is grabbing just, again, a lot of characters with great utility kits. In the end, it ended up being a 2-1 win for Hell Hades. He will be moving on to face on N1 Cartman in the semifinals. Keep tuned for that.